Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The only name under heaven and earth where a man, woman, or child may be saved. If there be any other gospel, preach other than the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let them be accursed to preach it. Saying that, we'll go on now that the only gospel we're concerned about is what? The gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The gospel is in the Holy Bible. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, Lord. And Father, we pray for the anointing this morning, Lord, that breaks the yoke of bondage in people's lives, Father. Father, we pray that the gifts of the Holy Spirit will be manifested here today, Lord. And Father, we commit this service into your hands in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. And we pray amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. This morning's message, if we had a title to it, would be called, it's a long one, The Essence of Pentecostal Religion and Beliefs. Amen. Amen. I hope you have your tools. Hallelujah. Because you cannot work without your tools. Amen. You've got to have tools. Hallelujah. There are revival fires breaking out in various localities around the world today. Amen. One highly respected researcher estimates that 80% of these revival fires in the United States are Pentecostal and charismatic. Full gospel is what we're talking about, amen? Talking about the Word of God, hallelujah. In nature, he states further that outside the United States, virtually 100% of current major revival activity is Pentecostal and charismatic, hallelujah. Many have read of the November 2000 Reinhardt Monkey Crusade in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm sure that some of you have heard of, of this. Some of you probably never heard of uh, Monkey, have you? He has a, he's an evangelist that, that preaches over in Africa and Ar Algeria. And he has hundreds and thousands that come to his revivals. And he has miracle services and uh, many, many salvations. Hallelujah. An estimated 6 million people attended in 6 days. 1.6 million were present for the final night. There were miraculous healings, multiple salvations, and hundreds of thousands baptized in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And speaking in tongues. It was through and through a Pentecostal revival. Glory be to God. And that is not all. I mean, we go back in the early 1900s, in the late 1800s, praise God, and we've heard of revival, fires, hallelujah, coming from Europe to America. Many, many men of God. You heard me mention earlier about Smith Wigglesworth. Some of you have heard of Smith Wigglesworth, a man of God. He was the apostle of faith. See, if you become a Christian, you begin to dig into these things, and you know these names, like Emma McPherson. How many of you ever heard of Emma McPherson? Mighty woman of God. She had a move of God back in the early, what, 1900, praise God. She had a vision of the rapture of the church. A vision, praise God. Some people don't believe in the rapture of the church. Well, when it happens, you're going to stand there and gawking. <laughs> what is going on when the rest of the body of Christ is going to be in heaven? You're going to be here. Because you didn't believe. Praise God. Almost all of the world's 50 largest churches are, are Pentecostal churches. And charismatic. We're called Pentecostal. We're called charismatic. We're called full gospel. Because we preach the word. We preach the whole word of God. Amen? I mean, why preach when you don't preach the word of God? I mean, it's all in here. Glory be to God. Some people shy away from Pentecostal because they say, Ah, that speaking the tongues is of the devil. I was told that by my preacher to stay away from churches like that. Where are people coming from? Maybe the preachers don't know the Word of God, but they need to be taught. Paul says, You know who Paul is? The Apostle Paul? Amen. He said, Hey, I'm glad I speak in tongues more than you all. <laughs> he must have been from the south. He spoke in tongues. Glory be to God. 
It's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. There are an estimated 500 million plus Pentecostals and Charismatics worldwide. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I'm coming after a church that's on fire. Hallelujah. I'm coming after a church without spot, without wrinkle, and without blemish. Amen. I'm coming down to a church that's a doer of the word and not only a one, a hearer. Amen. Amen. I'm coming after a church, praise God, that I commanded to go into all the world and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the church I'm coming after. Hallelujah. But I go to church. I go to church every Sunday. I go to church every Wednesday. I sit in the pew and I listen to the preacher. What did Jesus say? I don't want you to be a doer of the word. Not only a hearer. Glory be to God. What is this all about? What is the essence of Pentecostal religion and Pentecostal belief that might help explain these dramatic events? To that, we will devote the rest of the sermon today on Pentecostals and, and, and the gifts of God. Amen? Acts 1, verse 4. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, talking about Jesus, he gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, for wait for the gift of my Father's promise, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something that's very interesting. 